Hey everybody, Ann here, and yep, I've got the forehead thing going on. I've just pulled my bangs back. Um, it's hot out here, and I'm not dealing with the hair situation. Anyway, I am at a really nice spot. It is another lake. They've got disc golfing here. I don't know how to do it, but um, it's just a really beautiful spot. They got the van over there. Got my solar panels charging, and. Um, you know what? I found some mushrooms and you know what? I'm not sure if they're oyster mushrooms or if there's some other kind of edible mushroom. I'm still just not confident with my identification skills. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn this camera around so you can see them. And uh, maybe one of you experts out there can tell me whether or not I can eat these and not die. Here they are. Um, some of them have kind of fallen apart. That's the top. That's the underside. They've got longer stems than I'm used to seeing with a um, oyster mushroom, <clears throat> but then I've only picked oyster mushrooms one time. This one looks like an older one. This looks really similar to the ones that I had before. Um, so I don't know. I mean, what in particular distinguishes oyster mushrooms from other ones that are like maybe poisonous? Um, let's see this one. Yep. I don't know, these look an awful lot like, because I remember the undersides, <clears throat> excuse me, being white as opposed to black. So, I don't know. Guys, let me know. Let me know if I can eat these. I would really love to, to eat these. Um, chop up some potatoes and some green peppers, throw some onions in, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. And um, throw these in and just... Have a nice little veggie, veggie lunch. So, I don't know, let me know, let me know. Cause I'm not sure. Where's Betty? Let's see what she's doing. <laughs> she's chilling. Yeah, things have been really kind of hard with her in the van because it is, it is getting hot earlier in the day. Oh, gross. Um, yeah, I'll just give you a little bit more of this sight because it's pretty, it's getting hot earlier in the day, and um, I'm noticing that she just gets, oh, her separation anxiety is so bad, and she's happy when we're in the sun, or in the shade, or just chilling out somewhere like we are now, but the rest of the time, she seems miserable, so I don't know, God, you know, I, I last night, I even thought about, you know, giving her up, finding another home for her, um, but then I thought, God. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. I just do not know if I can do that. I mean, I don't want to be selfish and just keep her because, well, will I be too lonely? Will I shrivel up and die when she's gone? I think yes. I think that the answer to that question is probably yes. I just love this dog so much and I, I think I would always worry that she's being mistreated. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I know that my life would be a lot easier if she was not in the van with me. Oh, there's some people playing disc golf. Let me finish this later. Number one, tell me if those are edible mushrooms. Number two, uh, give me your thoughts about what I should do with Betty. I, I just, I'm at a loss right now. I think I would actually die <laughs> if I didn't have her because she's just so, she's delightful. But there are times when she seems miserable. Like I said, I can't get a couple, more than a couple feet away from the van. Heck, heck, I can't even get out of the van. She knows. She knows there's little cues, little signs that I'm going to be stepping out of the van. Five minutes before I even step out of the van, she's already started. So um, I need to be able to keep her cool. I need to keep um, nosy Nancy's from coming up and, you know, <laughs> circling the van and then calling the police on me. This has happened twice so far. Um, and by the way, the police, the, the last time the police came, looked at the dog, looked inside, um, and everything was fine. You know, they, they, they left and they're like rolling their eyes. Um, but I want, I want Betty to be comfortable. I want her to be happy. And, um, I don't know. I mean, like I said, it would be easier for me if it, it was just me. But I would be terribly lonely because I like dogs more than I like most humans. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, yeah, leave me some comments. Help me out, guys. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.